Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all doing very well today. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Michelle. So in today's video, I will be sharing my newest Celine bag, which is very exciting. This is a bag I've been wanting to get for a little while, but I have been waiting for the right time. And now that summer is like hot and happening and it's June, I don't know about where you guys are, but wow, the temperatures are rising where I am. So um, I kind of felt like this is the right time to get this bag and um, want to share that with you because, you know, it's one of those happy moments. I always feel like that's fun to share with you. So um, let's get into it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, obviously I would ha be very happy if you did. Um, just hit that little button down below. I do a lot more videos on luxury, fashion and lifestyle. So if these types of unboxings are your cup of tea, then you're in the the right place. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, so this bag, it came in a huge white cardboard box, so I'm not going to show you guys that, but it was just a plain white cardboard box. Shipping was like super fast. I ordered it and it was in the next day and it was free shipping. I do live in Europe though. I think it came from Paris. So that was very, very quick, but um, that was exciting. Like, you know how you're excited that when you've ordered something and then you're kind of anticipating when it's coming in and it was so fast. So anyways, very, very happy. In the box was this huge black dust bag, which actually I was happy about because here and there I've kind of heard people not even getting a dust bag with their bag because they ran out, they were out of stock. Um, you know, buying their Celine bag. So that's kind of odd though. I mean, if you buy a luxury bag, you kind of want the full package with the dust bag to store them also, you know, in a good way. So very happy I got the gorgeous dust bag with it. And let's open this beauty up. So I will tell you the official name of this one in just a minute. But here we are, guys. It is the gorgeous classic basket bag from Celine. The straps, they're still wrapped, but this is the, um, the medium version. They call it the medium version. They also have like a smaller version. They call that the teen version. And this, they call it the medium. It, it's quite big though, so I don't know really if maybe large would be a better, you know, fit for <laughs> what it actually looks like. But um, yeah, it, they, this is the medium with the gorgeous leather in the tan color. So they also have this one in another color. Let me just grab the official name of this bag so I can tell you, and I will link it down below as well. Okay, so this is the Medium Triomphe. I'm guessing I'm supposed to pronounce it in French. The Medium Triomphe Celine Classic Panier in palm leaves and calf skin, tan color. So this gorgeous logo right here is in the calf skin leather and then also the straps and as you can see, they're just all brown. So this is quite a long length of straps. I'm not actually, I'm not gonna take this off just yet because I wanna protect it a little bit longer um, until I actually start using it, which I'm sorry guys, that, <laughs> but let me just put this way down. Okay. So here we go. Maybe that gives you a little bit more of a better view. Okay, so let's just have a little bit of a close up. This bag makes me so happy. So see how this is the palm leaves, obviously a very natural product. So as you can see, the color kind of, you know, is different all over, but it is very light. I will say it's a very light kind of leaf color. And then the gorgeous, let me see if I can get that up close. There's the gorgeous logo. On top it's Celine imprinted and on the bottom it's Paris. Then on the inside, um, it's just one huge compartment. 
as you can see it's all open no closure no magnetic no nothing okay so it's just one huge bag basically and then right here you have the leather tab it says celine paris and gold and then on the bottom it says made in morocco imprinted in there and as far as i can tell there's not a serial number no i don't see any serial numbers so actually this was a question um a couple of times on one of my previous bags a few of my previous bags if like people asking me where the serial number is but particularly on this one i cannot find a serial number so i will film a mirror um mirror version so you can actually see what it looks like on me but okay this bag guys it is you know let's just be honest it is an overpriced basket bag for what it is obviously but considering the celine brand and what their bags um go for what their prices are especially obviously the leather bags they are very expensive actually like they're not yeah they're they're not in the lower range of the designer bags so i'm starting to really like the triumph collection that they're doing and their leather bags oh wow they look so good so compared to all of you know their bags that they're doing this was actually quite a you know basic way to start up um something in my celine collection because i don't have a celine bag yet so how cute is this bag actually when going to the beach going to the pool going on a picnic like sitting you know on the grass and everything like that going to the park um it is i mean it's huge but i also feel like if you're dressing yourself the correct way with the right materials and um, this can actually work like even going to your work or you know like on a shopping day or anything like that and what i mean by dressing the right way I feel like the bag has such a nice, you know, like natural, obviously it is a natural product uh, material. So if you're, you know, planning on wearing like a linen type or cotton or, you know, linen type of dress or outfit or pants, then this could look so cute with that. So I do feel like it can go a lot further than just a being it beach bag or something like that. So I'm planning on using it a lot more than just that this bag is it's handmade it's completely handmade every bag that they make it is like a little bit different than the other because it is handmade and it's very unique to another so this particular bag i think most bags actually have this where it goes down on one side because this is where they had to end the bag um so as you can see it's where it goes down and then it's kind of tucks in underneath the leather um so that's kind of something unique that i have found that maybe can you know be different i've also heard that the shape or the size of the back can be a little bit different from another because you know one might be a little bit smaller one by might be a little bit bigger so that could be something to look out for too um, but basically the logo and the leather, you know, those are all the exact same size and the exact same color. Um, so it's really just the handwork of all of this gorgeous palm leaves um, that people actually did by hand. I'm really loving this bag, you guys. I think, as I mentioned, there's so much, so many ways that you, I can have use out of it. And what's nice about this one, obviously, I consider myself using this bag a lot during a vacation you know that type of time this is actually big enough for me to take like on the airplane as hand luggage and just you know stuff it with all of this stuff i want during the airplane you know and then use it on my vacation for the entire time so um yeah i i did i was thinking about whether i thought it was you know worth it and everything eventually i will have to say that time will tell how it will wear and the wear and tear of it so i can definitely keep you posted later on you know after some time and tell you how it's doing but i'm very excited that i got this let me just tell you also what else was included so this is a little 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 pouch envelope 
Let's see what's inside. Okay, so this just looks like a little care booklet, like that. And then this one, it's a little card. It says like what the material is made of. And then here we go. I guess that's the official, the official tag or anything like that. It does have a lot number. Um, but I'm not sure if that's like anywhere inside the bag. At least I couldn't find it. So, all right. So that's in this little envelope. And then there's another envelope that says Celine Paris on the back. And what's inside? It has a thank you card. It doesn't really look like a, um, like a gift card or anything like that. Okay. And then this is just my receipt. So... Um, they put that in there and then inside the box there was still a return label just in case you need to return it so that was all complete which was nice so yeah so I'm very excited guys I wonder what you guys think um, what you think of this bag so I do feel like the Celine the Loewe and the one from Jacques Mousse are kind of in the same range in price point and uh, a little bit in like their look um, especially the one from Loewe and Celine. So I guess from those three, I kind of wanted to pick which one I felt suited my style and vibe the best. So I went for the Celine one. I, I'm totally falling in love with this brand. So anyway, so hopefully some of this um, was helpful for you guys. And if you're thinking about maybe getting it, then you know, you kind of know what to expect. I, I can't say anything about how I feel about the wear and tear of it. So we'll have to see about that. I do think actually I might just use a dust bag. I mean, kind of like this, but this one's black. I don't want a black one. I probably want a, a white one or a cream one to put that inside the basket. Um, and then inside the dust bag, I will put all of my little things because I can't imagine like just throwing everything in here. It will not be very chic and like <laughs> easy to get around just chucking everything in. So that might be something I will be doing, just finding a white or a cream dust bag and using that kind of as a, a liner, you know, kind of. But um, yeah, overall, very excited very happy i do think it looks just as pretty in real life as it does um on pictures that i have been seeing so it did not disappoint at all all right everyone that was it and i hope you enjoyed or that it was helpful for you that somehow i was able to show you some things about the bag that maybe you're interested in so if it did, obviously let me know by giving me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below if you want to see more of me and my videos in the future and um, have a great day. See you next time. Bye!